All right, things are about to get a little bit scary for this one, and it's gonna get pretty haunted in here, guys. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, well, there are many places in the world that just creep you out, they're unexplainable, and there's terrifying tales and sightings associated with them. From creepy and sinister ghost sightings to scary tales of death. This is the... Is that a ghost? Okay, right now I'm actually hearing some noises. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm getting a little bit freaked out. We haven't even started this video. But this is the top 10 most haunted houses in the world. Haunting this list, and at number 10, we have the Old Vicarage. Borgvatnet is a small village in northern Sweden that is renowned for having one of the most haunted houses in the country. Many people to have claimed to have witnessed paranormal beings roaming the hallways or sitting at the end of the bed watching people as they sleep. I mean, for me, yeah, no thanks. There's another report of a person being thrown out of his chair regularly by an unseen force. Right now, if you dare, you can sleep over in this house and you'll receive an overnight stay certificate to prove it. Because if you guys don't have that certificate, I'm not gonna believe you ever did it. Scaring us in at number nine is the Banff Springs Hotel. This hotel is located in Alberta, Canada, and it was built over 125 years ago, but don't let this picturesque view fool you. It is rumored to be one of the most haunted houses in the country. There have been terrifying reports of seeing a bride falling down the staircase or breaking her neck after panicking when her dress caught on fire. There are also reports from many people claiming to see a family who was murdered in this hotel. Sending chills down her spine, like literally, at number 8 is the Eastern States Penitentiary. Built in 1829, this former prison in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is known for being the first prison of its kind to introduce solitary confinement. Because of this, many prisoners were driven to insanity as a result Result, solitary confinement was abolished in that prison. But since then, there have been many reports of shadowy figures roaming the cells, ghostly faces, strange sounds of footsteps, whispering. Oh my god, I just heard like some footsteps right now. And, and there's banging on cell doors as well. There have been many reports of an evil crackling and dark figures in the guard tower. What's even more scary than that is the Waverly Hills Sanatorium, which comes into this haunted list at number seven. This building originally served as a tuberculosis hospital throughout the early to mid 20th century. It is estimated that about 63,000 patients died there. And the death toll was a result of a mistreatment and questionable experimental procedures done on the patients. Many ghost investigators have been to this building and they have reported seeing full body apparitions, creepy shadows, screams in empty rooms, footsteps, and sudden cold spots. Next up on this scary list, at number six, we have the Tower of London. This place has a history of torture and executions that date back over 900 years. There have been many reports of paranormal sightings at the Tower of London over the years, but one of the most infamous sightings is Anne Boleyn, who was the wife of King Henry VIII. She was beheaded back in 1536, and her headless body has been seen walking around the corridors. There are also reports of sighting two children wearing nightgowns, holding hands, and looking terrified. Apparently one day they just vanished, and it was assumed that they were murdered by their uncle, they were deemed illegitimate by the parliament. So now their spirits roam this haunted place. Number 5 is the Monte Cristo Homestead. This super scary house is considered to be one of the most haunted locations in all of Australia. So down under, it was built in 1885 and from that moment on, there have been a lot of tragic events that occurred on the property. The family that owned it witnessed many deaths including a tragic incident of a young child who died when they were dropped down the stairs. Also a maid died when when she fell from the balcony and a stable boy burned to death. There was also a mentally ill man who was chained up to a caretaker's cottage for 40 years and he was found curled up next to his dead mother's body. Number four brings us to Ancient Ram Inn. This house was built in 1145 and it was believed to be one of the most haunted houses in the entire British Isles. Apparently there was a lot of child sacrifices, devil worship and evil spirits that are behind this terrifying hauntings. When this house was used as a bed and breakfast, people would often flee in the middle of the night because they saw ghosts, had the feeling of being touched or pulled, they heard voices, or just felt an evil presence. Now at number 3 is Fort George in Nova Scotia, Canada. This location has had hundreds of reports of ghost sightings over the years. A little girl is said to follow the groups taking part in a ghost tour, with group members often experiencing her holding their hands. Other reports include strange voices, unexplained bangs and knocks, mists captured on film, the feeling of being 
being watched, the sudden shielding of nausea, sudden gusts of wind in closed rooms, which is like, how is that even possible? Furniture moving, doors banging, and in an occasion, people have been pushed out by the unseen force. Number two brings us to Franklin Castle in Cleveland, Ohio. For years, there has been countless stories of doors that have exploded off their hinges, lights that spun around on their own, electrical circuits that behaved erratically, and unexplained sounds of a baby crying, a woman in black who's been spotted staring out into a small window in front of her tower room. There has been many murders and diabolical events that have occurred in the house, and that is why it is so damn haunted. Finally, number one, we have the Amityville house. On November 13th, 1974, the estate was the scene of a mass murder. Using a rifle, 23-year-old Ronald J. Deffield Jr. murdered his entire family while they were asleep, which included his parents and four siblings. 13 months later, the Lutz family purchased the home at a drastically reduced price because of the murders. But they only lasted 28 days before leaving it. Apparently the family claims to smell strange odors and they saw green slime oozing out of the walls and keyholes and experienced cold spots in certain areas of the house. They also claim to have been woken up levitating off their beds and waking up repeatedly at 3.15 a.m. every morning which was around the time that Ron Defio carried out his murders. Well there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.